Our organization was founded in 2009, uh, but from 2009 up to March 2012, we were operating at uh, the name of a trust, Community Initiative for Change, CSE Trust, until March this year when we were registered as a non-governmental organization. This particular project came up out of uh, the need we saw from the work that we were doing because uh, the, after the post-election violence, uh, our work with the youth was mainly on non-violence and what we wanted to do is to inculcate a culture of non-violence in conflict resolution and this was because uh, during the post-election violence, the informal settlements were the epicenter in Nairobi and the main perpetrators were the youth. The youth were manipulated by the political class to cause mayhem. So we thought it was important to work with them so that first of all, they realize why they got involved in the violence because when you ask most of them, they actually didn't know why they were fighting their neighbors. It's just that somebody told them to and maybe paid them to do it. And so we thought it was important for them to understand that uh, the answer to conflict is not violence. So we started doing non-violence projects with them. Then as we were doing that, we realized also, in addition to understanding non-violence, it's important also to understand masculinization of violence. Because these were male youth, mainly it wasn't women, it was men. And there was this perceived uh, impression that men and violence are synonymous. It's normal for you to be a man. You have to be violent. So we wanted to disabuse that myth and help them see that this is all in the socialization process. This project is mainly out of the need to bring the link between socialization and, mass and violence. In most cases, and I think Kenya has been an example of this, most young men we saw them in the post-election violence. In most cases, when we see cases of uh, violence, conflict, destruction, it's the young men that are on the front line. So out of our interaction with uh, mainly the youth in informal settlements in Nairobi, and having come from a background of training in human rights, violence, and peace building, we decided to bring the link between masculinization and violence. For this particular project, we are working in Dadora, in Madare, in Kariubagi, in Korogocho, and in Kibera. And those are the main informal settlements that we've been working even on our other projects, our other programs. How we are socialized largely determines how we behave. And uh, most young people behave violently because that's the way they're socialized. Most people are brought up knowing that if you fight, it's an indication that you're a strong man. Uh, the messages that societies give us is that if you cry, you're being a girl. If you fall, you're not supposed to cry. If you're hurt, you're supposed to keep your emotions hidden. And that message keeps going for most of both men and women. And this project was as a result of how can we change what we have all along learned, that being uh, masculine is violence. And when we interacted with the young men, it was out of the need that there needs to be not just training and training to tell them we need to stop violence, but addressing it from the root cause, which is the way we are brought up. So that basically formed our background to this project. This project took the shape of uh, a three-pronged approach. First was a training. We did a training of trainers uh, workshop where we brought together 24 young men. After the training, we also produced uh, a t-shirt which is aimed to be an advocacy material. 
We also, in the course of the training, we did a training handbook. It's meant to aid the participants in their dissemination efforts. Uh, it's at its final stages now because it was involving the participants as we were developing it. We also carried out monitoring and evaluation of the project where we have met participants just to receive feedback on how they are progressing in the, in, in the implementation of the project. Your training in kwa health sana kwangu. Ah uh, maana ile ni build sana. Ile sharpen skills zangu zenye zilikuwa zimelala. Ah uh, na nimeitumia positively. I would say at the time maana nimeitumia positively uh, beginning on one one on one to give uh, information kwa mtu mmoja kwa mwingine. Na pia nilipeleka hiyo information kwa kikundi changu au iko porokocho na na tuka jadiliana na tukasomeshana tukaelezana mahali mtu akawa na understand aka get your understanding maana basically watu wengi sana wako na hiyo masculinity ya nani kusema nini and so i gave them the uh, your story na nikawaelezea ina maanisha nini na jinsi gani inafaa kutumika uh, mimi hiyo training tulienda wiki moja imenisaidia sana eh, personally ju siko na jua story kama hizo za jeda nini na nikarudi mtaani pia tumie ongelelea sana kwa group yetu kwanza tulienda tukafanya section ya hiyo kitu kwa group nikafundisha mambo ya group yangu wakaijua ndio tukakuja tukifanya activity flani hapo tulichukua wana wa na tukafundisha kuhusu hiyo tenda zile vitu tulilan pale ndio nimezitumia ku community first nili nili change kuchenge yani zile ile knowledge nilipata pale ili niwezeshe hadi ku teach the community kabla ya tumeungana ka sisi group ya korokoto tukapiga training pia ile pande nyingine mko najipata tunaongelelea issue sana ni ile t-shirt tulikuwa tumevaa ile t-shirt ambayo ilikuwa na positive masculinity so kila mahali nilikuwa naenda mse alikuwa anasoma kusoma hiyo word tunaanza topic hapo na tunaanza ku discuss unajua watu wengi walikuwa yani ni wanapenda ma violence nini hiyo violence pande ya huko kwetu iliisha juu watu wengi walikuwa madingo unaona na sasa hii imepunguka sana juu tunawalaanisha unaona yani inakuwa hata unajua kuna vijana waliuliwa hapo unaona ikakuwa sasa tushikane si vijana na maaskari yenye tu tuache tuache maneno na violence na yenye violence ilisha juu yenye na umo sana ni kulingana na hapo vijana wenye ndio na kidedi unaona yani unaona yani tu hiyo violence ilisha na hata tulikuwa na activities kama modeling hizo modeling tunapata majana yani tukiwa kama huko ground kwa hizo ma activities watu wanarushana unaona inabidi sasa sasa tunachukua na sisi wenyewe tunashikao vijana tunawapeleka post kuna wengine pia wamesarenda no wanarudisha visu saa nililan more kwa yani mimi ni positive juu hata fight ikitokea mimi ndio hadi nishawasha kwa na nitanga peacemaker juu hata vita mimi ni kuanga vita ikitokea mimi na chocha lakini saa hii vita ikitokea unatenganisha na inakuwa hadi unawasalimisha maneno inaisha nililan more kulingana na hiyo na hiyo ni mimi hiyo semi kama ni mimi kusolve ka tuseme ka conflict hivi mimi mwenyewe nachukua hiyo step naenda pale na jaribu kuongelesha wao watu walikuwa na jaribu tuseme hata kadi kupigana na onesha yenyewe si poa na yenyewe walikuwa nasikia kuna wenye walikuwa nasikia lakini kuna wenye pia wanaku wanakuongorea na kuambia bana wewe siku hizi unajifanya mjanja nyingine pia ni hiyo kitu ilisaidia sana sana juu yenyewe nilikuja kujua sisi wenyewe sisi wote tunakuwa na kitu kimoja tuli socialize tukakuja tuka ni pamoja na sasa hivi nimelearn vitu mingi sana. Jua hata kwa group yetu 
mimi wa uwa, uwa nini uelezee mnaoonesha zile vitabu kwa tunasoma tunasoma nao pamoja zile notes zote nilikuwa naandika njia za ku resolve conflict pia tunasoma nao the most prominent uh, achievement we can say out of this project is the personal transformation that we have seen from the participants um, gaining the knowledge and skills on issues of gender, peace building, the role of men in violence and also the role of men in peace has been very fundamental because we were dealing with people who came from a very stuck um, attitude of we are men, we are macho. And the process where we engaged both uh, female and a male trainer in, 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 the, in, in the training and we also showed a video called Tough Guys that depicts the image of what is a man. And most of the participants could relate with the images that they were seeing. So coming from a point where they are able to move from, this is the way we have learned, this is the way we behave, and this is the way a man is supposed to behave, to understanding how their behavior impacts on not just themselves, but even other members of society, was a turning point for us. Changed my life according to uh, the way you train us. So I come to realize I need to release all the things so that they can follow me. So that's what I was trying to do for now. Yeah, to allow everyone to participate. If I was a leader in this position, I allow someone to be in that position so that the next time when you meet, maybe they will be lifting me high. It was a turning point because I also had a chance to meet people from other areas and I got to know the things we are facing here is the same thing people in Madare and Korogojo are facing. But now the knowledge I had made me made me to, to be stronger and to, to overcome the challenges that I was seeing in the community. It helped me as an individual also in the perception, the way I used to see things. Sana sana simplea mapata watu wako hapa, mapata watu kuna pula hapa, mapata watu sana ina ucha hapo, na selila idea ni kuwana yo kwa training, na ime kwa ime make effort juna pata zile vitu at least, hata kwa watu wajaacha zote, Haini kuna vitu at least zile mtu akiambiwa nyaya anasikia yeye mwenyewe inamuingia sasa unapata unajua ile chenchi ya mtu kibinafsi waga muhimu sana kuliko hata ya group ndio unapata group mda tunasema tume change vile tumekaa mape hivi unaona yenyewe watu ni watu live yani tena mda kitoka hapa hata una uwezi aminuda alikuwa hapa sasa unapata yenyewe ile ile training so yale yani ile ile training walienda imekuwa pia na at least ka change ni vile amejaribu kushare the idea pia unaona mtu at least personally unaona mtu ame amejaribu ku change tuseme kwanza tunaongea kuhusu group hapa iko dando iko first kitabu ilikuwa na jina mbaya sana alafu ambapo kutokungua nza wenye tulianza ku work nao alafu pia kulingana hizo training pia tumeenda enda kuna venye watu wame change way of living au unapata kitambo ungepata mali ati utapata vijana mmeka na wasichana na amani. So naweza sema pia ni step moja kubwa sana. Ati kuna vile tunaweza kaa chini hivi na tuongee kitu moja, one thing in common na tunasikizana. So mimi naweza sema am hiyo venye wanasema kukaanisha nao ama vile na waona, but they wame improve sana. Hata mimi kama msichana mimi naweza sema wame improve. Juu hata kulingana vile pia wao tu support na hii ni sdaims. Wame tu support sana. I love pia Tuna pia wanatuheshimu sisi kama wasichana. Kama ni wale models pale. Unaona si eti utapata in fact ni kama kuwali, kuwalinda utapata mtu amekuwa exploited. Utapata pia wenyewe pia ndio wana form hizo nini unafara kama hizo trainings. Wanakuja wanatutrain zile vitu wamesoma models pia tunakuwa na session yao. So unaona mambo ya kukaa nao ni excellent. The, the training empowers so much, so before we start organizing the outreach, we call a small forum for male champion. So we discuss with them how we have been trained and how we will start 
going out and reaching the other community leaders to pass this message about masculinity and gender-based violence in community. The gaining of knowledge was phenomenal. We have met them disseminating the trainings in the communities. They have gone out of their way to engage other men with um, just the message of this is not the way we should behave. There's a different way we can behave. And cases of uh, gender-based violence, which they tell us are very common in informal settlements, could be on the decline. Just because of that, uh, speaking out about how men are supposed to behave. A case is in point is where one participant said that he is now able to deal in a better way with female members of his family. Just, just, just looking at them differently. The way it is like for, for him, women were just there to, their department is in the kitchen. They don't participate in decision making. But after we went through how gender affects the way we deal with each other, then there was a change at a very personal level. And a few of them, uh, when we did monitoring, reported that it has had a personal change in the way they relate with women. People really, they, they appreciate when they see the youths in the community preaching peace. Because youths are mostly, most of the people who are used during, during the violence are youths. Mm. So the community really appreciate, they really appreciate it because there's no area that we end mm. and the community was against us. Yeah, people really tried to involve, to, to involve with us as we passed the message. The response was good because people were hearing what they what they experienced. Because most of the, the the first area we covered was here in Gatwekera, and that was the major the, during the post-election violence. This was, was the hotspot. Now people are are seeing now we, we are preaching the message of what they had experienced. Yeah. So people mostly the mostly men were major participants. They, they really participated during the outreach while doing the skit. And now when the facilitator was interacting with the crowd, they really participated. And most of them really advocated on the uh, advocated and appreciated what you are the message you are trying to portray. Mostly Pandekama coach is it is a gender based violence sisi tukenda kuongelea hiyo hiyo agenda based violence then tunao tunaongelea tunaona mostly wakina nani wako so influenced kwa hii na wakina nani wanaumia sana sasa unajua ile kuongea unapata wale mama wana kama hapo wanasema mostly wale wanakuwa so violent ni wamama na watoto wadogo mostly madem sasa tunajaribu tukajaribu kuongelea story ya gender based violence then kwa hiyo gender based violence tukajaribu ku discuss story na sexual violence na domestic violence kwa hiyo story na sexual violence unapata wanasema sana yani wasichana wadogo wanarepiwa na wanawake wanarepiwa then sasa sisi kwa ile ile hiyo 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 discussion then tuka kama tukasema bado kuna watoto wavulana wanarepiwa na watoto wazee wanarepiwa it has also been a learning process for cc also because this was our first time we were engaging with a strict male youth uh, in the course of, of our work and just hearing from them and realizing the, the cycle that most of them are, the cycle of victimhood. Though they might not say it, but uh, when, when, as we engaged in the issues of gender and, and masculinity, then they realize how, how they've been brought up and how it is affecting the way they behave. For us, it was also an opening point for us because we realized the, the power that lies in just touching the core which is our socialization. It was also a point where we just had a one-on-one -on -one touch, especially for most of the young men who were affected with post-election violence. We had a, a session where they just shared what they went through. And issues of trauma, issues of pain are still evident, but it was an opening point for both ourselves and for the participants. And it has also increased our, our desire to reach out to more.
we want to see ourselves growing and moving into other areas to widen our scope because some of these issues we are dealing with we may be working in the informal settlements we may be working in central kenya but these are issues that are everywhere because we have uh, in our other capacities in the organization the respective organizations where we've been working we have interacted with people from different parts of kenya and most of these issues are not unique to Nairobi, they are not unique to Central Kenya. It is everywhere. So if you are able to reach out to as many people as possible, that would be our goal, our ultimate goal. What we just want to do is masculinity and not just manly. We want to understand the masculinity, not just manly. So I give them your story and the way they say it. It's manly, manly, and just the way they say it. It's not a bit of a manipulated. Uh, the other thing is that we have, to have uh, uh, an activity for two days uh, to be a team. For uh, your activity challenge, we have uh, to have resources. Uh, resources we have to have is to have manpower. These are the ones that we have to 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 have so what we are not, we are not doing that. This is to try and dig up some of the things that we are doing. It is masculinized. It becomes like the men are the ones who are perpetrators of violence, and the women are on the receiving end. That has been the misconception. But after the training, they have come to understand how even women, who are yeah, suffer most during violence, but they also play a part in this process because they are the mothers, they are sisters their girlfriends, their wives, and they are the ones who sometimes urge on the men to be violent. They are the ones who applaud them, and they are the ones who are impressed by this macho uh, image of a man. Madam, women, are you so, are you so empowered now and here? So, so, no, but, when a woman is young, on a job, when a woman is a so, so, dem, and is a fanyo kitumbaya, eh? No, no, a jilevi, a jui. Bado wako kwa ile ile remoteness unaona sasa ajui sasa hii sasa hii hata constitution na support sana unaona yeye mwenyewe ajui constitution na support aje yeye yuko tu unaona yeye sasa ni mwanume akisema kitu ni twende hivi unaona na ona anafundisha nyuma mwenyewe au si 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 ati kudanganyana au na hata anafundisha nyuma ah bado tuna need more trainings to sharpen those skills uh, ama ile tango refresher course maana masomo haishi na yatukika sana pia masomo sa zingine mtu anasahau so uh, recommendation ya first ni kwe tukue na refresher course ama more trainings or of uh, of the same or even more different topics uh, ili tuweze kusaidiana na hiyo na community yetu so kama kuna kuna any opportunity ile tunaweza kutuma tuna kama ni exchange program sana mm. kama ni training kama hizo zingine mm. zile nyingi hata kuja arrange mm. naweza sikia mm. na twitter ni mm. tu build kama mm. network fulani yani yeah. yeah. wase wa kama waisti wana kabdando mm. na hata kama siku mbili zile mm. ndio wase wa dando na ndio huko mm. because we are not fully empowered but with the little knowledge we got from the training mm. is what we, we were trying to share with the people but if, if you can get more training also to empower us it will be an, an advantage to us with no knowledgeable on issues on of positive masculinity. So we appreciate for the training and the training and empower us a lot. So that's why we are trying to come out with the activity that could make people not to stay idols. The same thing, even we don't have fun, the men like football. So if we have a little we have. They can play, so that is the only the way to change the community. The same same we are using the, the youth groups because we don't want them to stay idle, just training and they are doing nothing. So we just take them to the to the community and we pass the message. So we think the training was poor. Then it's poor. Come to me, remember, we are retreat. Well, we are trained poor. Then to na kuakama campsite maliyakuna drugs akuna nini then we can control them and we can empower the other youth when they come back to the community they can do more than us. So we need to reach out to many more youth. We need to reach out even to the women 
and we need to reach out to uh, parents, generally to the communities, because the idea is to resocialize the communities. The idea is to bring about a total paradigm shift so that the way we socialize our boys is not uh, the way that perpetuates violence, which is what has been happening. So our hope is that resources allowing, we are going to go down and reach out to more, more youth here, but also the other members of the community. Because to eradicate this problem of violence, uh, we need to work as many people as possible. We need a multifaceted approach and we need to target different players within the society. So that's what we hope to do. And on top of the trainings themselves, we are also planning to do uh, community dialogue forums. We are also planning to even have economic, uh, uh, economic empowerment projects because we have also, the trainees themselves have also identified poverty as one of the factors that makes the problem worse. Our desire for, for this project is that we see more and more young men reached out. We appreciate that we're only able to reach out to just a few of them considering the vastness of the informal settlements. And we want to make it, we want, our, our aim is to have non-violence as a way of life where both young men and women are able to react to violence and to respond to conflict non-violently. We hope to broaden the work that we do by reaching out to more people and also engaging all sectors from the informal settlements, the rural communities, also working with both men and women because the converse of masculinities is femininity which again has put women as victims. So we need to work with both men and women so as to create a culture of peace.